Alrighty, so I just wanted to do a quick little video here. Um, obviously, it's Battle Ages. Uh, just to go through the process that I think about when I choose somebody who I'm going to attack, essentially. Um, so, obviously, you can see by the score there that I haven't done this in a little while. I've actually just been trying to, uh, to rank my buildings up or, you know, build everything up um, before I proceed to the Renaissance Age. Uh, so, obviously, I still need to work on the old Egyptian walls here and the Palisades, uh, and also uh, still do all these. Uh, and then I've got these two here, uh, which still need doing, and I believe this, which I still need to rank up. And a, a couple of these. And then these two as well. Which will need to be ranked up twice. Possibly that one. Yeah. So. Now. If we go to battle and have a look. For some people. So obviously these three at the top here are above me in terms of uh, the age so chances are straight off the bat I'm not going to be able to take them on um, but this guy and this guy they're actually below my current age uh, and now we're looking at the uh, the value of money that I got here so this guy has 31,707 gold so uh, that would be a good score, whereas this guy's only got 1496. Uh, so I'm going to click on him based purely on that. Uh, and plus he's got a lower score, so chances are he's either lost more more battles that he's fought, uh, either defending or attacking. Uh, he's in a clan, which means absolutely nothing. Alright, so if we have a look here... Select this and have room around. So we've got a um, few defenses. Obviously, there's the walls going on. He's got some stuff outside the walls. We've got two. Just the two. Just the two towers. Uh, catapult is the only thing. Oh, no, there's the third tower. Knew there'd be one somewhere. Blind as a bat. Third tower is the only one. So let's just go take out those. Boom, that's gone because of that. And now let's throw these guys on the field. Oops. And let's give them a hand over here with this. And they will start to burn their way through to the defenses. And I'm going to throw some over this side to get the distraction going. And then these soldiers. I'm going to wait and see, because I don't actually want to use up everything uh, if I can help it. Uh, but it really depends on my knights and whether they can go through these two defenses without falling down, uh, which they should be able to. And then after that, it depends on how much time I've got left. So I actually wasted a little bit of time talking to you guys at the beginning there, and uh, about 15 seconds had passed. So I had to use a couple of extra uh, over what I would normally, but it doesn't look like it was actually going to matter because I'm going to burn through this in about five seconds. Maybe less. Alrighty. So there we go. Guaranteed victory. Uh, like I said, I haven't played this in a while. I've, I've dropped down a bit because I've been the one being attacked. Not doing the attacking. So, that is basically how I would select somebody. Uh... All right, I've ranked up. Now, when it comes to... Okay, so a good idea to look at is, for example, your catapult here. Let's just take a quick look at this guy. So let's have a look at the info. Now, the info is that it has a health of 500 and 553. All right. That has got a huge range. If you get in close, though, it's null, um, and it does 45 damage. Now, 
if we have a look at my particular um, swordsman, I've got a level 8 swordsman, level 7 bow, and level 6 knights there. That's generally what I'm using. Uh, if we go in and have a look at the, the knights, uh, so that got a, a health of 830. So it's going to take a few hits to take out a knight with one of those. Um, but if we have a look, we got a health of 42. So 45 damage, this takes 42 health. Thing's gone in one hit. And with an area splash, it's screwed. This thing takes two. So the these guys, yeah, you, you want to get rid of this before you put them on the ground. Um, so now if we're having a look at the trebuchet, which is the, the ranked up version, which I also need to upgrade, we are looking at a health of 638. So take that into consideration, 553, 638. And that, that is basically the toughest... Uh, the toughest catapult versus the weakest trebuchet you can get. Now, if we go into into here, you've got the uh, various options. How do you even say that? Mag Maganel? Jesus Christ. Um, alrighty, so we've got a damage of 280. So if you throw out two of those, basically that's 560 damage, right? So five, that's before you upgrade here, you can get a max of two. So 560 damage. This thing's toast. One of these, not so much. Throw another 280 damage on there and you can take out a trebuchet with all three. Um, but most people, well, not most people, if you aren't up to the medieval age, medieval age here and you've only got two, you can still take out a, a, a catapult with just two of them. And we're sweet. So use the knights, throw out the knights to take out basically any defenses they've got, but take out the catapult first with your well, with the Colosseum um, specials. I tend to to run with two knights uh, per thing, so I've got six in total. And then I will use one of these to basically bust out a whole load of my arches. And then the third one just goes back down to swordsman. Sometimes I have five archers. Alrighty. So that, that's how I, I roll that. Um, if I was to, to have another look and check out basically, you know, who I'd attack next, obviously I need to recuperate some of my, my guys first uh, because you don't really want to go into a battle without that. Uh, let's have a quick look. So, yeah, it's not worth it for these guys. Not really worth it for only 3,600. So on here, there's nothing really underneath uh, where I'm sitting, but this would be a potential. So it's at the same level as I am. He's level 36, so, uh, sorry, he's at the same age I am, but he's actually a higher level. So chances are he's upgraded some more things. Let's just have a look as an idea. Um, all right, so in his case, let's have a look here. We've got one, two, and three upgraded. We've got a trebuchet. It looks like he could probably upgrade his defenses and a few things, but he's done pretty well. So I would leave that, especially with those walls. All right. Um, I could train some of the uh, the old suicide bombers there to take out the walls, but nah, not so much. Um, give another example. This guy is probably going to be quite heavily fortified, so let's just take a quick look at him. Alrighty, so yeah, there's no way I could take on this guy at the moment. Um, 
we would need some severe ownage to take out just his defenses um, and that's not going to happen not at my level I need to rank up and upgrade my stuff before I can take him on so I would refresh this uh, and go try find someone like this guy let's have a quick look before we finish this video so yeah in this guy's case take that out um, maybe use the third one on here for example because it's the weaker version then throw my knights down here to take on this this and they'll go here here and here uh, and then some swordsmen and uh, my archers scattered around and we're good alrighty so that's basically what goes through my mind and how I decide who I'm going to take on and who I'm going to attack. Um, and that's Battle Ages for me. Alrighty.